The story of towns are the stories of the booms and busts of various economies and surges in certain marketplaces. I'm in Petaluma, California today. My name is Bonnie Spindler. I'm the Victorian Specialist. And today we're going to be talking about prohibition and building booms and housing shortages and what they all have to do with each other and about a cute stucco bungalow that I'm bringing on the market that is relevant to all of these movements. So Petaluma was founded in 1854 and it had a lot of gold rush money. It had a lot of people needing banks and blue jeans and panning equipment. And a lot of money came into the town and so a lot of homes were built. Then our next boom happened. That was the egg and chicken boom. The incubator was designed here. So we had a huge housing boom around the invention of the incubator. So in the middle of this housing shortage, something else happened. And that was a war that caused the United States to pass prohibition. And so that you could no longer make alcohol or transport alcohol. So let me tell you just a short story. On the corner of Upham and Bodega, there was a U.S. brewery, and it made 40 barrels of beer a day. That's a lot. They also made brandy. Unfortunately, uh, the guy died in 1914. So he'd been in business from about 1895 to 1914, and the brewery just sat there. They had leased it to a couple people. They really couldn't make a go of it. So in 1919, the U.S. Uh, Congress passed prohibition so that nobody could make any spirits, no transportation, no you know, making of any kind of alcoholic beverage. So in 1923, a guy named Will Silva bought the lot <clears throat> and tore down the brewery and he built a whole row of adorable bungalows. 1920s Prohibition Flapper era bungalows. They're full of charm and original details. And basically, Prohibition built this neighborhood. There was a shortage of housing, and wartime always creates a, a shortage of housing. And basically, Prohibition allowed this neighborhood to be built. Let's go inside and see 508 Upham. The house has been beautifully remodeled, and it has all its original details that Silva put into it initially, but it, it's been brought into the 21st century so that you have all the modern amenities that you would want. So this house is really set up for entertaining at home. You can see this gigantic picture window that lets a lot of light in, and your views are completely of the hills of Petaluma, bright green this time of year. There's a fireplace, which you could burn wood, or it can be gas logs. It's Romanesque, it's brick, it's lovely, and has the original tile on the bottom. The current owner stripped both the mantle and uh, the paint off of the brick, so it's, it's really cool and rusticated looking. The colors in the house are warm and just make you feel incredibly cozy. And of course, in any entertaining house, it's set up with living room, dining room, kitchen, so that uh, the entertaining is easy. I talk a lot about original details, and uh, this house has a lot of them, the hardwood floors, the original fireplace and this built-in cabinet, which is perfect for displaying your china in the formal dining room. The house is also full of these 1920s style light fixtures. There are at least two of them that are original and several that are reproductions from the time period that the house was built, which I really, really respect and really love. Let's take a look at the kitchen. You're not gonna believe how gorgeous it is. The entire thing is so beautiful and custom. Let's go look. 
I love this kitchen. It has floor to ceiling cabinets, which I really like, no soffit. And this metro tile that's all soft and handmade, just beautifully set. The cabinets are soft clothes, which is great, no slamming doors. And nickel faucet, which is incredible. Viking stainless appliances. It's just top of the line, everything, and so nicely done. But they did get rid of the ironing board cabinet, which I really like that the original ironing board cabinet is there. So uh, this kitchen alone is worth the trip to see this house. It is so gorgeous. So just off the kitchen is an amazing little space. Could be an informal dining area, could be an office, could be a prep space for cooking. But again, your built-in original cabinets from the time when the house was originally built. It would have been an integral part of storage for the kitchen. Just on the other side of that wall is the laundry and refrigerator. And of course, that's perfect for the built-in ironing boards because you've got it right next to it. That door goes out to the yard and we'll take a look at the yard in a minute. And then you have two full bedrooms off to the side here with a gorgeous, again, the tile, beautiful imported handmade tile in the bathroom, pedestal sink, gorgeous remodel. Again, you have to see it. You just can't believe how beautiful it is. So we may have lost a lot of breweries and wineries during Prohibition, but luckily for us, we have new ones opening. This is Crooked Goat, it's walking distance to 508 Upham, and a host of other places that you will love. Acme Burger, and a lot of different restaurants and shops all downtown, all walking distance, 0.2 miles, like five minutes away. If this house was mine, I can guarantee you that I'd be out here all the time, drinking coffee, having a glass of wine, grilling, barbecuing, gardening. I mean, I would just be living in this space out here. It's quiet. It's it's really lovely. So uh, this property is easy to show, easy to see. It's 508 Upham. I'm Bonnie Spindler, the Victorian specialist, and I'm looking forward to entertaining you here at the house.